This is BBC News. We're interrupting our schedules for the following announcement. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. A statement from the palace said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. This is BBC News. Normal programmes have been suspended because of the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. A statement issued by Buckingham Palace a few minutes ago said, The Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. Thank you, Chris. You're listening to BBC News, broadcasting on the UK, across all our networks in the UK and around the world, following the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. This is Michelle Hussein with Evan Davis here in the studio. And if you're just joining us, Buckingham Palace has just announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. The palace's statement said that the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort, they said, will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. So that's the news that we had just in the last few minutes after several hours of reporting the public statements earlier in the day about the health of the Queen that Buckingham Palace had said that her doctors were concerned. And then we knew in the last few hours that members of her family, all four of her children and Prince William, her grandson, the Duke of Cambridge, had all travelled to be with her at Balmoral. And that is where they were before this announcement was made. Well, our royal correspondent, Johnny Diamond, has been um, covering this uh, throughout. It, Balmoral is a place that was special to her, Johnny. It, it was special to her. It was a, a place of enormous peace and tranquillity. 